Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that do not know me, I am so happy that I received this package from Hush. When I opened this up, I was like, hold on, we got some dupes in our hand. And if you don't know me, I love affordable makeup. I love drugstore makeup, dupes, like all that jazz. So when I saw this, I was like, hold on, uh, dupe, uh, dupe. Uh, another dupe so I am so excited to do this video with you guys and show you guys what is in here if you guys are new to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the fam we got going on here and let's jump right into this video because I cannot wait to talk about this the first palette I want to talk about is this one this is the Royals palette from bad habit beauty and when I saw this palette this is up my alley guys this is this is a dupe for sure for the modern renaissance palette look at this hold on you girl struggling Ooh! i am just like wow this palette the anastasia beverly hills cost me 40 something dollars and this is a 10 dollar palette and the shadows swatch so pretty like look at this they're they're so beautiful i'm just so excited and like amazed because holy cow you guys i love affordable makeup i really do and then seeing that this palette is ten dollars and the anastasia beverly hills is 40 something i'm like girl i literally don't have space anywhere so i'm just gonna swatch them on my palm i've never really done palm swatches but there's a first time for everything like look at that that like lilac color, this beautiful rusty color, and this like gold, this is perfect for highlighting the brow bone. These palettes are just so pretty and they just swatch so beautifully. I feel like the entire video, I'm just gonna say the same thing over and over and over. It's so pretty, it's a dupe, it's affordable. The next palette I got here is the Inferno palette from Bad Habit Beauty. This one I have tried already. And I can tell you, this palette is gonna be one of my go-to travel palettes for sure. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. I feel like you can make any warm, smoky look. And they even have some really nice shimmers. They have this coppery color. So beautiful. This looks like a dupe for the Urban Decay Heat Palette. Is it the Urban, De Urban Decay Naked Heat? It's one of those. I'll put a picture of it here. It's just wow like this is gorgeous i'm so excited i basically have played with most of the palettes i'll let you know which ones i've tried and which ones i haven't and so far i'm loving them i think they're so amazing and i don't know about y'all but i'm here i'm balling on a budget for real like saving up money for like trips and concerts like this is amazing i love the fact that these palettes are so nice and for only ten dollars and i heard that they usually have like free shipping if you download their app. And I also happen to have a coupon code with them. It's KMARIE in all caps if you wanna save some extra money. I'm just so excited that this is so affordable. The next palette that I got is Bad Habits Aphrodite palette. And this is probably the one I was most excited for because it's the palette I wasted the most money on. Not this one. This is the dupe for the palette I wasted all that money on. This looks exactly, you can tell I've used it already, and it's I actually filmed a video using this. I did half this palette and then half the Huda Beauty Rose Gold. I'm editing it. It should be up very soon. You guys might want to subscribe to check that out. That's all I'm saying. The Aphrodite palette swatches so beautifully. Like, even their match. Well, I can't even find a corner, but even their matte shades, like, look at that that is insane i am i'm so excited because this was 65 dollars 65 dollars guys this and this is 10 dollars if i would have known truthfully if i would have known that this existed i would have never bought this never i'm just so excited like just so excited to play with all these palettes and also I might have a little giveaway for y'all if you stick around. I'm just so excited to play with the other palettes that I haven't played with yet because whoo, whoo. I also got this one. This is from Bad Habit, their Oasis highlighting kit. 
and I've used this in a makeup tutorial before and I really liked it. It's three powders and one cream highlighter and they work very, very well. Truthfully, I wouldn't use this one at all. I would steer probably more towards these two guys. This one to cream highlight and then this one to, oh, just kidding. This one to cream highlight and then this one to kind of just set it. I like to set my cream highlighters with powder highlighters just to give it that extra, mm, you know? But this is just so pretty. I'm not sure if they still have this one on their website because I did see on their site that it is limited edition, so I don't know. Just look at that. That is so beautiful. Let me swatch the more like tan one. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I'm just so excited to have received this, guys, because it's just more dupes that I can give you guys and show you so you guys can save money because I'm all about saving that money. There are so many dupes here. This next one, and I really like that it's in like that metal tin. This is the sugar palette from Face Candy. And this looks exactly like the Too Faced palette. I'll enter it right here for you guys so you guys can see that difference. Beautiful, it is so gorgeous. I used this palette recently and I really, really liked it. I especially liked these warm shades right here and the green shimmer I loved I loved and then this color creme brulee I use it to highlight the brow bone not on this look but I use it to highlight the brow bone and I absolutely loved it it was really really nice and this one is ten dollars too and it's just so good like it's so awesome I love that shop hush provides such affordable makeup and skincare and then they work with these brands, Bad Habit and Face Candy, that provide affordable like dupe palettes because I know a lot of us can't just drop $65 or $40 on a palette. A lot of times that just isn't realistic, especially if there's always things being dropped. So many makeup products are always dropping and it's so hard to not fall into that trap and then you feel kind of like, Ugh, like if you're a makeup lover like me, I feel like you feel kind of bad because it's like damn I missed out on it now that we have like dupes for so many things It's like kind of exciting because you're like, okay, so I didn't miss out that much I saved money and I got some litty stuff. The next one is this guy right here This is retro love from bad habit and this looks exactly like the ABH subculture palette It's incredible incredible I used these, this palette already and I used the coppery shade which I absolutely loved and then Icon which is a, like a really nice like mint green with like some white gold reflex in them. Psychedelic was such a cool color. It's that color that looks white but you swatch it and you put it on your eyelid and it looks like it has pink in it because it just has like those pink reflex and like undertones in them. I was really, really sad. I'm not kidding. I was so sad when the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette came out, guys, because I didn't get it. And the reason why I didn't get it is because I saw so many reviews on it and there were, it was so mixed. So many people were like, oh my God, I love it. It's amazing. It's so pigmented. It's so this, that. And then I'm sure you heard it was all over YouTube that people were like, uh, it's so powdery. Look at that copper. It's so powdery and it doesn't work well and it has so much like um, kickback and fallout and it's this and that and they did such a bad job. So I was like, do I or do I not waste the $40 on the palette? But I don't know. I was just, long story short, I was just so sad that I didn't get the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. But now that I have this guy, I, I'm i just happy because I'm like, you know what? I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. And it's right here. This, look at this packaging. Just, pfft. I saw this and I was like, well, this isn't gorgeous. It is so pretty. It's the Unicorn Glow Highlighting Palette from Face Candy. This looks like a dupe for like the ABH, hello? The ABH Moonchild. Um for Kat Von D's um, Alchemist, I believe it's called. Like, look at that. That is so beautiful. I don't own any highlighting palette like this. And when I saw this, I was like, this is gorgeous. Like, what? Like, this color right here, Wonder, it's like a gorgeous white, but it has like lime green, yellow, like undertones. So it's like, you know, like you turn your face and then it's like, 
that like very like silvery but like lime green like just an, a beautiful iridescent highlight like that's basically what I'm trying to say and then this like blue and this purple I wouldn't I wouldn't wear this on a day to day. I mean, maybe I, maybe I would. Who am I kidding? I probably would. I'll probably put some like mascara, some gloss, and like a purple highlight. Knowing me, I just really like it. Like it's so beautiful. I love it. I think it's gorgeous, and I feel like I could probably use this for even like Halloween. It would come in handy, and I don't know. Just when I'm feeling a little saucy because I really like that it's a different type of highlight. It's not just the regular like gold or like silvery or like white highlight, you know what I'm saying? It's like different. It adds a little more like character. This guy right here, I saw this and the moment I saw this and opened it, I was like, I'm gonna give this away to you guys. This palette looks exactly, ooh, let me take out the plastic looks exactly, exactly like the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. But since I already have that, look at that. And this is just gorgeous. I love my ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I think it's really nice and great for people that love like glittery and nice highlights. But this baby right here, I haven't played with it or anything. I want to give it away to you guys. If you guys would like to win your own Bad Habit Rose Highlight palette which is the dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero glow kit I feel like that's such a mouthful all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel like this video and comment down below your favorite song at the moment just whatever it is that you've been jamming out to that you love lately whatever it is this is open to the United States and internationally wherever it is that you are I will send it to you but I just want one of you guys to have this so you can try and see how bomb these palettes are. I would more than love to give it away to one of you guys that maybe could didn't get a chance to get the ABH Glow Kit or couldn't afford it or anything like that. It's the holidays. We're in the spirit of giving. That is my haul of shophush.com. I am so happy that they reached out to me. I love everything that they gave me. I feel like they're so beautiful. They're such great dupes for all these amazing and expensive palettes. And the ones I have tried, I really, really like. The only thing that I do want to point out to them, to you guys, is that they may be a little bit powdery, not everything, not everything, but some of the shadows are a teeny bit powdery. So just keep in mind that whenever you work on your eyes, you might want to put a little setting powder under the eye. After you finish your eye look, just sweep it away and that's it. But honestly, my Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette gives me fallout. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance has the same fallout, so it's not that big of a deal. I just want to point it out to you guys in case that's something that you really don't like. I personally don't care but you know everybody's different we are finally done thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed this video i think this is kind of one of my, one of my first hauls that i ever do on my channel so if you guys want to see more hauls or even more dupe hauls just let me know i would more than love to do them for you guys i had so much fun filming it like I don't know what it is, but I just love finding dupes and like affordable makeup that's bomb so I just naturally had to film this video like I had to share it with you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>